On Christmas night 2023, one of the largest storms ever to hit southeast Queensland made its way unhurriedly, spectacularly and destructively through the scenic rim and Gold Coast. We watched the lightning approach for well over an hour in a display like nothing I've ever seen. But when the storm eventually hit, it wasn't safe to stay near the windows to record it, as 150 km an hour winds hurled whatever they could find against them. The rain was so intense, the line of trees in the backyard were obscured, and it wasn't long before the power went out. The following morning, while the backyard was a mess, I was surprised to find no large trees or branches down. Not so the surrounding streets. More storms were forecast for later in the day, but the morning was incredibly calm and peaceful, an odd juxtaposition to the ferocity shown the night before. Boxing day, third day of storms, no power, no mobile phone, and we've got a uh, window that's a, uh, sorry, a screen door that's blown in and is um, bit by bit falling apart. <laughs> it's all fun, all fun. Interesting light outside though. And I like dinner. <laughs> Have a merry, merry Christmas <laughs> and a happy new year. Let's hope it's a good one without any storms. In broken windows. The and, wind and, and is over. Going on 36 hours with no power and... Um, no phone, no hot water. No, but time to empty the freezer. The stuff in the freezer's managed to stay cold, so... I guess that we've so learned that the, the freezer ceiling's good. I'm a bit still um, but So we're moving it. So I'm going to have an ice cream. <laughs> breakfast with my cup of tea <laughs> you know why not why not um okay let's keep the fingers crossed the power goes back on today but, um, yeah i'm feeling confident 
Our fourth day of storms, but this one was all beauty and no bite. Probably help if I took the tea bag out first, wouldn't it? Mm. <laughs> so we are on to day three of no power here. Um. I've got to keep, I've got to stop saying it could be worse because it seems to get worse <laughs> whenever I say that. I'm being positive instead of complaining about just the fact that we had some mess in the backyard, which quite frankly, this storm, uh, we got off so lightly. We didn't actually have any big branches down, which was amazing. So we've had no mobile phone coverage either until yesterday, late yesterday afternoon. And I've since found out um, that the storm was even worse than <laughs> what what I'd realised. Um, basically, this is the worst, um, I was going to say storm, but it's been worse even than cyclones we've had through here uh, on the Gold Coast and actually further out west too. It seems that there was actually a tornado in the middle of this storm as well. It started out a bit further west and um, then it kind of went through over Mount Tambourine and up to the northern end of the Gold Coast, so a bit away from us. But um, that that they are estimating had winds up to 200 kilometres an hour. So, yeah, unfortunately, it sounds like there's a lot of people up the northern end of the Gold Coast who have lost roofs, houses, like just crazy 
um, yeah, you don't, we don't expect to get tornadoes here. The lightning was something else. Uh, I've never seen, I don't think, anything quite so extensive. Danny and I were sitting upstairs watching it for at least an hour and there was lightning going at least one a second. Um, it was just constant. Danny likened it to like looking at a, a war in a distance with, you know, artillery fire and stuff. And, and that's what it looked like. It's just, yeah, stunning, <laughs> stunning. Yeah, we got out of it lightly, but I must have to stop saying it could be worse because <laughs> you've seen that we had the other broken window. Then I've also said, you know, it could be worse. At least we have water. And it's looking like there's a chance that might end up running out too because where we are we're in um a little kind of estate thing and uh we aren't on the same mains water that everybody else is on we've got our own little uh pump which is actually not just it's just down this fire trail from our house and that's been running on a, a backup diesel generator and apparently it wasn't ever designed for several days use and it overheated last night so yeah there's a good chance we may end up running out of water other people i think further up the street have lost water pressure we ours are still fine probably because we're so close we're like the second house from it so pretty lucky so it could be worse don't, don't be worse just this is this is fine If you guys are still hungry, Steve, there, there is veggies. apples. Never seen Robin so happy for vegetables, Dad. No. Oh, I can't grab it. I yeah, love Steve's veggies. Let's just put it on the table. On the bench. Uh, Pretty I fancy dinner for candlelight. Look at this nice romantic candlelit dinner. Looks so clever. <laughs> and I'm absolutely slurping, slurping down on my gravy. So it's New Year's Day. We finally got our power back on at about 4.30 last yesterday afternoon, New Year's Eve. So six days we had without power and uh, we've had pretty much it pouring rain and storms all night and um, now we have a leak in our roof. So yeah, it's, um, it's been fun. It's been fun. <laughs> and this is supposed to rain like this all today and tomorrow as well. Yeah. <sighs> so this is the result of the uh, water leaking. Well, things can always be worse. I'm stop saying that, that they can be because it seems like things keep getting worse. <laughs> Just keep having one thing after another. Yep. Happy New Year's Day. So I can't just leave you there, can I? <laughs> Not in that state. No, I have to tell you where things are at. So it's now the 5th of January, I think. <laughs> uh, yes, our power has stayed back on since it came back on on New Year's Eve. Now, something I didn't mention is that where we live, we're on a septic tank system. So that meant that we had to be really really careful when the power was out not to be putting too much down the drain not to be using the toilet too much uh showers etc etc so as not to just ruin overflow firstly our septic tank and then also um destroy it but 
happy days. It looks like touch wood that that is all okay. So that's good news. The glass door that got broken, uh, we're still waiting on the actual glass because we live in a bushfire hazard zone. Uh, we have to get special tempered glass for that. So they didn't have that in stock. Uh, so we're still waiting on that, but I did, we did get that door boarded up securely the day after it all shattered and you saw all that. So that was a massive relief to get that done because it secured the house against further weather and people. <laughs> so, so happy days with that. The leaks, that's an ongoing thing. Uh, our insurance company has got somebody onto it quite quickly for the inside part of it anyway. So we currently have some industrial size dryers and things to help dry the room and the roof out. We actually ended up having two leaks and there was more water in the second one, which is in a bedroom, but the roof hasn't fallen in there. So yeah, there's a dehumidifier and everything there. So they're running for several days, days, days on end. And hopefully at some point we'll get somebody in to be able to actually look at the roof and work out where all the water was coming in from. But man, they're going to be busy because yeah, there's people in the Northern end whose roof just got completely ripped apart. Uh, so Anyway, feeling a lot more positive than I was on the 1st of January. So happy days. It's um, It's been a bit of a pain, but look, all in all, we've been really lucky. Um, yeah, hope that you, uh, you enjoyed something out of that. Obviously, my usual viewers, I obviously wasn't able to do any editing of stuff while we had no power. I don't have a laptop, so yeah, uh, that was not able to be done. So hopefully I'll be getting back into making more videos from our trip to the UK soon because, man, there's so much more to go and it seems like such a long time ago now. All right, cheers, guys. I uh, will catch you all next time.